Hello friends this is next part of Laravel tutorial series and in this series we have learned basic of MySQL database CRUD operation in Laravel framework. And in this part we will see how to retrieve or fetch or select data from MySQL database and display on web page in table format. In previous part we have already discussed how to install Laravel framework. After this how to make database connection and how to create table from Laravel application. And we have make one student table from Laravel application and in last part we have insert some data in that table. So now we want to display this insert data on web page in Laravel application. So in previous part we have already created student controller in app slash http slash controllers folder and here we can see student controller dot php file. In this file we have seen different method like index or create, but here we want to retrieve data from my SQL table and display on main page of our application. So we should write code under this index method, so in this method first we want to fetch data from student table. So now here we have write dollar students variable is equal to student model with all method with to array method. This code will retrieve data from student table. And this to array method will convert into array format and store into this dollar student variable. Now we want to send this data to view file, so here we have write return statement with view method with two argument, in first argument we have write file path like student.index. Here student is folder name under resources folder, slash views folder slash student in which we have store view file for student and here we have already created index.blade.php file and under this file we will load student data in table format. And in second argument we have write compact function with students argument. Here this compact function will create an array from this dollar students variable which we can access in index view file in student folder. Now we have go to student folder in views folder and open index.blade.php file and first here we want to extend master template. So for this here we have write at the rate extends directive with master view file name. By using this directive we can extend master.blade.php file in this file. After this we have write at the rate section directive with open and close bracket and between bracket we have write content. Here this directive defines section of content while this at the rate yield directive will display content on a give section. Now first we want to close this section directive so we have write at the rate end section directive. It will close this directive. Between this we have write some HTML code. Now we have create one table with four table column like first name, last name, edit and delete. Under this table we will display student table data. Now we want to print student table data on this page, so in controller we have store students table data under dollar students variable and send to this view file. So here we have write at the rate for each loop and under condition we have write dollar students variable as dollar row variable, by using this variable we can access data from this dollar students variable. For close this loop here we have write at the rate end for each, by using this we can close for each control structure. Under this here we have write open and close table row tag and between this tag we have write open and close table data tag and between this tag we have write two bracket and between this we have write dollar row first name variable. It will print student first name table column data under this table column. 
Below this we have again right open and close table data tag and between this we have right two curly bracket and between them we have right dollar row last name variable, it will print last name table column data under this table column. We will create edit and delete button in next part when we will discuss tutorial on update and delete my SQL table data in Laravel. Now we have seen output in browser. So in browser here we have already load this student controller with create method, but now we want to see student data in table, so we have simply remove this create method and press enter. So here index method of student controller has load into browser and here we can see student data which has been retrieved from my SQL student table. Now we want to connection add student data from with this page, so we have go to index.blade.php view file. Here we have right anchor tag with attribute ref is equal to two curly bracket and between them we have right root method with student folder.create.blade.php file and anchor text add. This code will create add anchor link and it will redirect this page to create method of student controller and that method will load create.blade.php view file in browser. After connect this page to student controller create method. Now when we have submit form data to store method then after if data has been successfully inserted then page must be redirect to this index method not create method. So we have go to student controller store method and here we have changed student.create root to student.index. So after successfully data inserted into table it will redirect page to index page not to add data page. Now for display success message on index view page so here we have right at the rate if statement and under condition we have right dollar message variable is equal to session class with get method with success object. This condition will check if this session class get method returns success message then it will execute this block of code. So under this block we have right open and close paragraph tag and between this we have right two curly bracket and between this we have right dollar message variable. This code will display success message if data properly inserted into table. Now we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends here we have seen student data in table format, now we have refresh page and after refresh of page we can see add button. So we have click on this link and it has redirect page to add new student data page. So first we have directly click on submit button. So it has display first name and last name field is required on this add new student data page. So now we have enter David in first name and more and in last name and click on submit button. After clicking on submit button page has been redirect to index method of student controller and on this here we can see success message on above table and here we can see inserted data in table. So in this part we have discussed how can we retrieve data from my SQL table and how can we display that data on web page in table format in Laravel. In next part we will discuss how to update or edit my SQL table data in Laravel framework. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, Please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.